Hey, I'm Maria Mountain, a hockey strength and conditioning specialist, which means that I help you do the training off the ice that you need to succeed on the ice. And today we're doing a QA. and a We're going to talk about um, those camps you go to, the, the training camps or the selection camps where uh, they just, um, you know, burn you out so bad um talking about goalies they they burn you out with their with their on ice training and then they expect you to stop pucks and and we'll talk about that we'll talk also a little bit about creatine so uh let's get started and we'll talk about getting burned at a camp Okay, so this question, um, it came, I just have my little cheat notes here so I remember what the question was, but came from a dad, um, so when he, when he goes to training camps and watches the goalies, you know, they run through a bunch of cardio drills that just burn them right out. Um, you can see the exact question, how it was asked on the, on the blog post by clicking the link below, um, but basically he's saying, you know, they, they fatigue them so bad and then they expect them to stop the pucks and that seems to go against a lot of the tra um, training principles that 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 I preach um, about you know when you're working on speed and explosiveness it needs to be quality so I, I think I have an answer for this and there might be some coaches who want to chime in and leave a comment below but really what what they're doing is they have such a limited time to make a selection so they want to see number one in the stamina drills and I do the same t thing sometimes too when I'm working with a team hey, who's going to go for it? You know, who's going to sit back and be happy to be in the middle of the pack? And who's going to go for it and go hard every time? So it tells you something about the player. Then they also want to see, okay, well, who's going to just get in the net and give it their best shot? Um, you know, the, the fitter you are, you will be able to recover better. Um, you will perform better even when you're fatigued. And that's a lot of what the training that we do focuses on. So we do stamina training in our off-ice training. We'll, we'll burn guys out and, you know, some guys we run for the garbage can to throw up and, you know, that that's some of our stamina training. But we also do the speed training where we don't let that kind of fatigue set in. So to our players, that's not a foreign sensation. And we're looking at, hey, who can perform? If this thing goes into one or two overtimes, who's going to be, you know, the, the goalie who's going to get the job done? So that, that's kind of the answer on on that one. You know, they're they're trying to see, you know, who's got it in bad situations because <laughs> probably everybody's got it in a good situation. Okay, this next question was about creatine. Um, so um, they're using a, a sport drink when they work out. One of the trainers where they work out said, hey, they might want to try taking five grams of creatine. And, um, you know, what, what did I think of that? You know what? I actually think it's, for some of you, it's a great idea. For those of you who aren't doing like an actual hockey off ice training program consistently the way your trainers la laid it out for you or the way I've laid it out for you if you're following one of the hockey training pro programs. If you're not following that to the T, if you're not, you know, off season training four to five days a week, six days a week, uh, in the season, getting in a couple lifts during the week, um, keeping up with your speed training, then, then this is a waste of money. But if you're doing all the big things, this is a little thing that can really help. It work again. I explain it in the in the article that that you can uh, see below if you're on the blog page or just click the link below to to go to it. And I explain how creatine works. It works at the muscle cellular level, and all it does is it helps you recover a little bit better, a little better from repeated bouts of high intensity training. So, for example, in a strength training session, it might help you get one or two extra reps not a big deal in one workout but if you're working very very hard over the course of an off season getting that one or two extra reps will have a cumulative benefit it will be small maybe one percent but <laughs> for some of you that one percent is going to make the difference um, it is probably the most researched supplement there is out there it's been used for probably in excess of 20 years uh, it is a safe supplement you can actually get it from eating red meat and some fish but to get the five grams you're looking at about two to three pounds of meat <laughs> or fish uh, which is which is a lot um, and the other thing is 
Anecdotally, some people have um, reported getting muscle cramps or muscle strains when they're using creatine. I have not had this experience with the athletes I train who use it, but um, when your body takes creatine into the muscle cell, it actually takes with it, I think, it, I can't remember, but it might it's like three or five grams of water per gram of creatine that goes into the cell. So that is actually going to increase the volume of the muscle cell, which in itself can have a... Um, um, sort of a stimulating effect on the muscle, but um, it can also increase the st stiffness of the muscle in terms of just there's a greater volume in the same area. So the recommendation, um, and then maybe the cramping is dehydration, some people have said, but my recommendation is to up your water intake a little bit if you're going to use creatine. Um, you do not need a loading phase, so five grams a day of just plain old creatine monohydrate. You don't have to go get something fancy. If you're doing all the big things, uh, then it is probably a worthwhile investment. But of course, if, if you're you know, a younger player, that's something you need to talk over with your parents. I certainly, I don't recommend it really with any of, any of our players that are 15 years or younger. Um, you know, they just need to start learning to work hard. Our guys that are 16, 17, 18, up into university, um, then we have them, you know, chat with their parents about it and decide if it's going to be right for them and if and if their parents are happy with it. So there's today's Q&A. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com, where my mission is to help 10,000 players win more games with fewer injuries, put 10 of you in the NHL in the next 10 years, and have at least one of you win the Stanley Cup. Why not you?